Continuing our Commitment 2014 coverage, we take a look at the 18th District Congressional seat. Democratic incumbent Anna Eshoo will have to defend her seat against Republican challenger Dr. Richard Fox. Here's Action News reporter Phil Gomez. The 18th Congressional District covers some of the most economically rich areas of California, including the Silicon Valley and portions of San Lorenzo and Scotts Valley. <sighs> Dr. Richard Fox is a newcomer to the political forum. He's a Los Gatos resident, a practicing pediatrician, attorney, and a libertarian Republican candidate for the 18th Congressional District. If elected, his focus is to bring back the American dream. American uh, families... Uh, uh, middle class and working class families have uh, struggled with stagnant income, uh, fewer job opportunities, and two-thirds of Americans actually think that their children will not do as well as they've done in life. The American dream has suffered uh, for the last few years. And in fact, marriage rates are at an all-time low and birth rates at an all-time low. Uh, people are discouraged. And uh, in my view, we need a different direction. On Obamacare, Fox says patients should be able to find the best medical care and prices. As a libertarian, he wants to deregulate the markets, not make them more strict. On the president's policy on fighting terrorism in the Middle East, Fox questions what the objective is. What's our exit strategy? I think. Uh, a lot of uh, Americans, uh, particularly here in the Bay Area, uh, thought that the war in Iraq was not such a good idea and it didn't produce such a good outcome and we lost uh, thousands of uh, brave American soldiers over there and tens of thousands who are wounded who continue to require care. Um, it's not clear exactly what uh, we got out of that, so a lot of Americans are anxious to know what it is that we're getting into and why we're getting into it. Um, and I, I have questions along those lines as well. Congresswoman Anna Eshoo is well known in the political arena. She was on the San Mateo County Board of Supervisors and in 1992 was elected to the House of Representatives. She served on the House Intelligence Committee and is currently a ranking member of the Subcommittee on Communications and Technology, which has primary jurisdiction over the Internet and telecommunications. She is also a defender of net neutrality. Recently, she voted against the president's plan of action against ISIS, which included expanding airstrikes, supporting Iraqi forces, and assembling an international coalition of fighters. Well, I think it's very complicated to, uh, to actually uh, dissect uh, the various groups that are on the ground in the civil war inside of Syria. Uh, but I don't carry any brief for ISIS. Uh, I think they're barbarians, and we've seen that the beheading of people, but also what they have done uh, uh, to so many others. So it is, um, it's, you know, these are difficult votes. Uh, they're not easy votes, but you have to make the best call uh, you can at the moment when the vote is taken. And uh, uh, I, I'm never um, uh, afraid uh, to be wrong. Both Fox and SU advanced through the primary in June, but an experienced incumbent is hard to beat, and SU is expected to win re-election in November. It's real tough, especially in a district uh, like the 18th, which has not only a large uh, Democratic voting base, but this is a very liberal part of the state, as you know, and there's every reason to think the Democrat has the best chance of getting elected. However, Fox feels new leadership in the 18th Congressional District will bring new hope to constituents. There's a uh, air of discouragement and despair in the country. We had a huge economic crisis in 2008-2009 and we've never really recovered from that and people are starting to lose faith that we are going to recover. Two-thirds of Americans think that their children will not do as well as they're going to do. Sixty percent of Americans think that the American dream is no longer attainable. Uh, I think we can do better than that. I think we need to restore faith in the American family and the American dream. And we can do that if we get big government out of the way and uh, let uh, American energy, uh, let American spirit, uh, let American enterprise 
uh, thrive uh, again. Even though uh, the Congress has uh, a very low rating, I work every day to try and restore uh, the confidence and the, uh, the hope and the aspirations of the people that I represent. I consider it a great privilege and a singular honor uh, to represent uh, the 18th Congressional District. Uh, it is the uh, innovation capital of the world. Uh, the values of my constituents have always been uh, uh, the environment and education. And uh, I think that uh, we are a model uh, for the rest of the country. And uh, I want to help keep it that way. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.